Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. I'm excited to have these two young at heart, beautiful human beings on the show. We have the one and only Dylan Shimka. And of course, we have the queen of one heart for women and children, Stephanie Bowman. We're here to talk about Diamonds Are Forever, which is April 15th. That's right, April 15th. It's an event to fundraise, bring awareness to One Heart for Women and Children, and it's at Citrus Club. So we're going to talk all things One Heart Women for Ch Women and One Heart for Women and Children, and also the event. Welcome to you both. How are you today? Great. How are you today? I am great. I love seeing smiling faces, and you guys always have smiling faces on. Um, I want everybody else to know what you do. So let's take a deep dive into the event but first tell them a little bit about you and we're going to start with ladies first stephanie tell them a little bit about you and of course you can talk about the organization absolutely i want to say that i just love to love people and i think that if there's one thing about me i just love to love people and so when i started one heart for women and children 15 years ago it really was just real to be able to connect resources to the people that had the resources, to the people that were in need. And what we've found over this last 15 years is that there are just more and more people that really want to serve and want to be a part of something greater than themselves. And so we're really excited about the, to share about the Diamonds Are Forever because I think that that is going to be, it's going to be one of our biggest events yet. And it's also going to be our first gala. It's the first gala. I didn't know that. Oh my Our god, yeah, that's that is that's even more exciting. And it's uh, Citrus's club first gala since COVID. So this is the first time we're doing it again since after COVID, or oh, however you want to determine that. So well, with that, fun. Dylan, tell them a little bit about you and why you're involved. Oh yeah, well I think Stephanie was being a little modest, you know. At One Heart, they've helped provide over eight million meals. Stephanie's been featured on People's Magazine with the Kelly Clarkson Show for her outstanding work. This is really an organization. If you don't know what they're doing in Orlando, they're doing some amazing things. They have monthly mobile food drops. They're helping people with resources, food Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, just about seven days a week. If there was 367 days, she'd do it every day she could. You know what I mean? But uh, we're really excited for coming up at the Citrus Club. Um, we got selected as their host for the Diamonds Are Forever Gala. So that was just a really cool opportunity. Thank you, Emily Armstrong. Thank you, the Citrus Club, for reaching out to us. You know, um, it all takes relationships and partners. And that's exactly what we need to continue pushing forward. We're going to have a fun night out there. We have... Uh, Kay Rollins, who's given us a gift of time experience. We're going to have a live auction. We'll have some NFL players there. It's really going to be a night you want to be out there. Remember, we'll have DJ, all that fun jazz, and really just a cool way to support with a purpose. It's, and dress up. And, and dress, up. dress so, up. Yeah, dress so I was, telling, I was telling Stacey, you know, one time is it forever. Obviously, you've got to be Bond, James Bond, or something like that thought yeah. process. So I am sure I'll be dolled up. Uh, in something that she's created. But I love getting dressed up like that. And I love this event. Like you said, this event hasn't been back in a while uh, mm -hmm. because of COVID. And so it's just such a, it's a fun night, but I'm even more excited because I am friends with both of you. And, uh, and of course, Emily. And I just love the mission and all of the good work that One Heart for Women and Children does in our community. So let's talk about the event date and how people can get tickets and we'll keep going because I have other questions for you, but there's an Instagram link scrolling uh, for everybody watching and you can go there, but you can also, there'll be a link to a square uh, that you can click on in the comments below and you'll be able to register, but tell them what it's going to be like when they walk in. Are there silent auction items? I heard you say mm -hmm. DJ. Um, obviously there's cocktails, but you have these live auctions, which you kind of talked a little bit about, but talk about gift of time. Absolutely. So I love the, the gift of time. I think there's, there's nothing more special. There's so many people, when I close my eyes and think, oh my gosh, I wish that I could just have 30 minutes of undivided attention with this person. Um, that's really what we did is, is Dylan and I and our team came together with, and Emily came together with, um, 
with 10 to 12 people that are influential people in Central Florida that we believe that people will really want to spend some time with. And each experience is going to look different. Dylan, can I share what my gift of time is going to be here? Oh, yeah, you can share. Oh, yeah, tell us. I love okay. it. It's a <laughs> so I have a need for speed. I love to go fast. So uh, it will either be jumping out, uh, out of a plane um, with me or it will be super, very, something that's uh, much simpler, um, although that gift of time, just two people, three people, being able to talk um, and having that interaction So with a picnic in a park. Yeah, I know with Kay Rollins, she's the one of the founders of Orlando City Soccer. She's mm -hmm. offering off her gift of time experience where you can come get a private tour at the stadium or go out to the practice facility. Uh, we have Chris Johnson coming, who's a former 10-year NFL running back, used to be a superstar in the league. So it's really going to be a cool opportunity to see all these different walks of life all coming together. And these are all people that have volunteered in the past that believe in the mission of One Heart. This isn't just a one-off thing for them. We've really worked with them. We've been in this community with them. We've been uh, in the trenches is what I like to say. I you know, we're battle tested together. Including... including um... John Rivers. So John Rivers has also volunteered time, uh, many hours with us, uh, some before Four Roots and some um, just a few months ago. And I love such that. such a good human. So is Kay. Absolutely. And Chris. Oh, I mean, you, have, you have this great uh, group of people that support you. And I know that that's because um, they have a heart for what you're doing and you can't help but not want to give back and get involved when you talk with Stephanie Bowman or hear Dylan talk about how passionate he is too. It's talk about the need um, in Central Florida. Talk about has it has it increased? Uh, tell me about the, you said the meals number earlier, Dylan. What are you seeing out there? Mm -hmm. You guys have just the demand that is overreaching. Uh, talk about that a little bit. You know, I always like to say it's more than just a statistic. Uh, Stephanie's the one there every day where we're not just giving out food. We're making real relationships. We're giving that gift of hope. And it's really on a more personal level where we want to take it to the next step. We really want to learn about what people are going through and meet them where they're at to see how we can help them and how we can work together. I'm not sure if you follow Stephanie on Facebook, but she's always posting different needs that are going on around Orlando. And it's just amazing to see the kind of support that we have around Stephanie and around the organization that people want to help. They just want to be given the opportunity to, which is exactly what we're doing for this gala on April 15th is giving people a platform to all come together, all have some fun, all dress up, be with each other and still support an amazing cause in the same time or at the same time. It's true. I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm also happen to be blessed. I just want to talk about a little bit. So you all, Later on, don't go, why didn't you tell me? I happen to be giving gift of time as well. Uh, and so I really was trying to figure out some cool things to offer up. But uh, I think it's such a great idea getting people involved in the community. And a lot of times uh, people seem unreachable. Can you imagine just spending a day with Kay or with Chris or with um, with John or and all of the people who are going up there. I just think it's a beautiful idea that we haven't seen in a very long time. And it's an honor to be asked. So I want to thank you guys publicly for that. All right. So Citrus Club, April 15th. It's on the Citrus Club calendar. You can absolutely go there. And there's a link on that calendar as well. We'll put all of these links in the comments below. Uh, you can go to the link, the Instagram page. And it's the first link at the top, I believe Dylan said. Uh, you can also go to the square link, which we'll put in the comments below. But I want you guys to come out and have a good time. It's April. You know, we're past that whole crazy winter part. Now we're in spring. It's a fun event. Uh, and it gives back to one of my favorite organizations, uh, One Heart for Women and Children. Uh, any parting words of wisdom for them? Anything I missed that you want to share? I want to share that this is a statistic that a lot of people don't know. Um, so we're, we're charging $125 a ticket for, uh, for the gala. If you're a Citrus Club member, it's $100. Um, whether you're paying that $100 or that $125, uh, every $1 helps with up to 12 to 16 meals for one person. So thinking about that dollar, 
right? So if you're paying $100, you're helping over 100 people with food. That $125, over 100, 125 people will have fresh produce, food for their belly, food for their family, just from a single ticket. Wow. That is unbelievable. That is, that's a stat that needs to get out there. I agree. That's unreal because a lot of times you give your money and you think, well, there's only going to be a teeny tiny part of it that goes, or my, my couple hundred dollars isn't going to make a difference, but boy, it makes a huge difference. Huge. It does. I can't even imagine, um, what we'd be without you in the community mm -hmm. and one heart for women and children, Stephanie, I think it, it's just an amazing thing that you bring to our community and the help and the lives, the ripple effect of the lives that you all impact. Um, I know they'll be talking for generations because that's a generational thing. And so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, so one last time, Dale, Shimka, Stephanie Bowman, One Heart for Women and Children, April 15th at Citrus Club. You can go to the Instagram page, which is scrolling across the bottom. You can go to the square link in the bottom. You can go to the Citrus Club calendar for April, and it is on there with a link to buy tickets. There are all sorts of ways for you to get involved. If you can't attend, think about donating. Also consider donating any kind of items that Stephanie might need, or maybe uh, there are still there's still room for silent auction items. I'm not sure, but I want you to get involved, and I want you to give back. But I would love, love, love to see you there on April 15th. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. What a blessing to the community you are. Uh, and it's always an honor to have you on the show. Thank you so much, Ted. We love right, you, guys. Ted. Thank you so much. Can't wait to give you a big old hug. We can't wait for our hugs. We do great hugs, don't we? All right, yes. guys, April 15th. Get your tickets. We'll see you soon, everybody.